Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode we will see how to combine data from multiple worksheets into a single worksheet from the same workbook and from a different workbook. To follow along with me make sure you have a copy of these workbooks downloaded using the links in the video description. There are two workbooks in today's episode. The first one has 10 worksheets and the second one has 5 worksheets. Each sheet has 100 rows in them. Please note before you begin make sure that your data is in exact order with the same number of columns. If you notice I have the data in exact similar order and in exact similar number of columns in both the workbooks and all other sheets. So, we are good to go here. Before I start I will create a new worksheet in this workbook and I will rename it to master. Now I would like to combine the data from all these worksheets into the master worksheet. How do I go about it? To get started go to the data tab and from here I will click on get data then select from file and then click on from workbook. Once I do that I will have an import data dialog. From here I will select the same worksheet that I am working inside. and then click on the import button it will now load all the sheets from this workbook except the master sheet it is because i did not save this workbook so if i cancel this go back and save the workbook then again from the data tab go to get data select from file from workbook and now select the workbook i want then click on import it will now show me the master sheet also Since I'm trying to combine the entire set into the master sheet, I will not select that from the list. I will select the other sheets that is D1 to D10. To select multiple sheets, I need to ensure that this option that says select multiple items is checked and then click on the first item and holding the shift key down, click the last item on the list. Now that I have all the sheets that I desire to import selected, I will click on the load button. Once I do that, it will process all these sheets as individual tables it might take time depending on the amount of data you have in your excel so have patience sit down while this is processing excel might say not responding don't panic it will come back it is just taking time to process that data once everything is processed you can see on the right side it shows all those sheets as individual tables now right click on the first table and select append from the list with this option we can combine all the data at this moment it says two tables i don't want to combine two tables i want to combine all of them so for that i will select three or more tables d1 is already in that list so i will not select d1 from here on the left side select d10 that's the top one and then holding the shift key down select the last bit and then click on add all the sheets that i desire to combine are now in the right column that is tables to append once i see all of them here i click on okay once i do that i will have power query editor launched what is power query editor with the help of power query editor you can get and transform data that is you can import data connect to external data sources and then shape the data the way you want here you can see in this power query editor it has combined the data from all those worksheets i am not going to cover power query editor in detail in this episode maybe in the next episode or maybe in some other lesson but here let's stick to what we are trying to do that is combine the data in the top right side we see query settings and in the properties it says append one that's the default name that is provided to this new table So we will change that to master and now on the top left i have close and load there we also see a little tiny arrow click on that and you will see a drop menu from there select close and load to why because we are trying to load that data into the existing worksheet that is why we need to select close and load to and from this dialog that appeared that is import data select existing worksheet and then remove whatever is there inside and click on the first cell in your master worksheet you can see the worksheet name and the cell reference added there now click okay this will now get the data from all the worksheets into the master worksheet in a combined format you can see the master worksheet shows 1000 rows loaded Notice on the top along with the table tools tab you now see the query tools tab that is because this table is generated using the power query that is why that is showing there now if i go into the 10th sheet 
and add few rows here for example i will say add 10 rows now in my d10 here it says 100 rows but if i now refresh this let's see what happens i refresh nothing happened i need to save that so i click on save now i refresh so each time there is data change i need to refresh these sheets i don't know where the data has been updated so in that case you just need to update all you go to data you click on refresh all when you do that all those worksheets will be updated once you refresh all now if i go back into the master worksheet and now click on refresh all you will notice it will refresh all and now i see the d10 is showing 110 rows and the master sheet is also showing me 1010 rows that is the new 10 rows are added now if i want to add more data to this one from another workbook maybe how do i go about it i will again go to data tab then click on the get data then from there select from file from workbook and this time i will select the second workbook and then click on import even if it is from the same workbook or a different workbook the steps are going to remain the same so even if there is a new worksheet added you have to follow the same steps to add that one into your data set so now i have all those sheets from the second workbook i will select select multiple and click on the first one holding the shift key down select the last sheet on that set and then click on load on the right side you can notice it is starting to process all of them are now processed now how do i add them to this set for that i will go into the query tab while i'm inside this table and then click on edit and here i will select append queries then from here i will say three or more tables I don't want other tables. I want everything to be appended to the master. What I need is D11 to D15. I will select all of them, then click on add. All those sheets, that is all those tables are now added to the right side. Now they will be appended once I click OK. When I click OK, all that data will be appended into the master. Now if I click on close and load on the top left you will notice i just have close and load i have come from the master sheet hence i do not see that other option active so if i click on close and load it will load the data in the master you can see now i have 1510 rows loaded this is how we combine the data in excel from different worksheets or different workbook i hope you find this video helpful with this data, you can try doing VLOOKUPs, do pivot tables and much more and use it very efficiently since all your data is sitting in one location now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. Practice as much as you can to retain your learning. If you haven't subscribed already, please click on that subscribe button and click that little bell to enable notifications of new videos from my channel. Thank you and have a lovely day. Until next time.